Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Vanilla TV bringing you the another the one you have been waiting for this season. It's going to be Epsilon Esports versus Broder Gaming tonight. Uh, E2F2L Premiership Season 15, sponsored by Blackout Gaming. We are your hosts tonight, Arx and Beta, with Animal on the stream. It's an ABA style cast tonight and uh, an ABBA cast. Have we actually got any ABBA music to play, by the way? I should have sorted that yeah, out beforehand. Queen. Young. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. But, yes, should be a good one. It's going to be Snake Water followed by Granary. And, uh, Wallox, this is, this is the one we've been waiting for, mate. It is, but remember we said that last time and... Uh, Did we say that on uh, the other night? <laughs> we, well, we, we didn't say it for the, um, the grand final, put it that way. Um, and that turned out to be a pretty good game. So, we'll have to see. I, I just remember the last season... Um, this was uh, a fi fixture which everybody picked up because we hadn't really seen Broda playing and we thought they were the ones who were going to uh, contest Epsilon this season and then Epsilon just came in and destroyed them. So um, obviously Broda aren't such a new team anymore. They've been playing for quite a while so I, I think uh, it is probably safe to say this is the one we have been waiting for. Yeah, so, okay, so let's talk about background information for you guys. There's been a nice article passed, uh, posted by Beach over on the Vanilla TV website. If you haven't had a read, go and have a read now. I will summarise for you. So, uh, Epsilon obviously uh, haven't really been defeated much since I-46. In fact, I don't believe they have lost in any seasonal play since I-46. The only team to take a map of them were none other than Broda, and that was on our grand final season 14. So, this time around, uh, I think maybe the teams would be a little bit more equal. Because I remember watching Broda and Epsilon the first time they played in Season 14. And it was the first time that Broda actually had been... They hadn't been together long, had they, Ark? So it was uh, no. a bit of a whitewash. <laughs> and I think everyone got disappointed. But, you know, maybe tides are turned down. Especially with Snake Water, which used to be like Epsilon's home map. But with Granary, that deathmatch is going to come into play there. This could be one not to miss. I think the other thing to uh, take into account is that, um, I mean, yeah, Bro Broder have been around for quite a while. I think Epsilon, having um, dropped that one map last season, they've got something even higher to aspire to this season. Because, well, they don't want to drop any maps this season. So we can kind of expect, you know, their try faces to be fully on every single map because that will be their target, is not to drop anything. And, well, these are the guys who probably have the highest chance of getting in the way of that. Yeah, so obviously the league is really still got considered to have three teams. So, you know, Epsilon, CC and Broda. But Epsilon have been still sitting at that top of their, I'll say their throne for a while now. And Broda are considered to be the key team that can challenge them. Look, background, more in background information. So I did see Broda versus Epsilon there, uh, PCW the other day. And uh, Epsilon went about 4-1 up on Badlands. And then I thought they stopped us taking it seriously. But Broda, I was watching it from the Broda point of view. I think Atmo was streaming it. And uh, they sort of brought it back. But it was quite one-sided. The second map, uh, I've forgotten what it was. I don't remember what it was. But it was a lot closer. I think it was King of the Hill. I think it was a King of the Hill map. And uh, uh, yeah, like a lot Viaduct closer. Or something. Yeah, it was a lot closer. And I think Broda won it, you know. <laughs> so yeah. I mean, I, I kind of would... Have almost predicted that if if I was watching the game because Broder have, they're a deathmatch team whereas Epsilon because they've just kind of been together and for a while and they they've got just a lot more teamwork and that's that's basically what's carried them they started off as a teamwork team and just uh well got quite a, I'd say they improved on their deathmatch picked up a few deathmatch players and kept the core of their teamwork together whereas Broder pretty much formed on hey us guys we're the best DMers in uh, TF2 let's make a team together and focus on the teamwork. As we now uh, probably restarting the map. So come on my friend, uh, let's talk some one-on-ones like we usually do. Let's start off with... Okay, uh, let's do some quick firing. Okay, so you're going to answer really quickly. So red or yellow? Okay. Red, red or yellow? Yeah, yeah, red or yellow? Uh, yellow. Ox or beer? Beta. Oh. <laughs> Marilyn or Nox? Uh, Marilyn. Bibby or cooking? <laughs> Bibby bib 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 or cooking? <laughs> Bibbin or cookie? Uh, cookie. Ooh, gear or Mike? Mike. Ads or Marilyn? <laughs> Marilyn. 
<laughs> okay, uh, where we think? I'm slowing down, it's a thing now. Okay. <laughs> Rib or numlocked? Come on. Oh, uh, numlocked. Okay, jukebox or gear? Uh, juice box, isn't it? Or is it jukebox? Jukebox, jukebox. Jukebox. Oh, yeah, of course it is. Yeah, uh, jukebox. Okay. Uh, bite or comedian? <laughs> Com- <laughs> oh, bite. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, it's, yeah. So there's going to be quite a lot of one-on-ones tonight. I guess um, thinking about it. So yeah. Seriously, demo man tonight. I know we talk about them a lot. Ribe or rib depends on the pronunciation. And numlocked. It's, uh, interesting to see the different rollouts maybe on Snake Water. Who do you reckon's gonna do the damage tonight? Who should we be watching on that mid fight? Who should Animal be following there, my friend? Um. I, I think, well, for first round, let's uh, follow Rib, I would say. I, I'd like to see his uh, rollouts, obviously. Well, this is Granary, actually, so... Oh, they um, d- oh okay. All oh, right, sorry. I thought we were doing Snake Water first, so, yeah. Wow. Um, That doesn't matter. It's irrelevant, really. Do you remember that rule where you had to do the most offensive map first? Yeah, I think, well, in which case, <laughs> that, that rule is, is done. It's uh, We are playing by that rule. I think that's it's a good thing to have it has the excitement for later and uh, honestly um, Broder with their old school players I mean come on you've got Bib and Rib you know the old four kings squad uh, back in those days this was the primary map that they were good at so it's no surprise really that they're going to be um, on the uh, well this is this is going to be their map of choice it's it probably favors Rib actually because he's he plays demo a lot like a just clockwork, just I'm going to jump to here, I'm going to sticky here, and Granary is one of those maps which, you know, your first three stickies in the point are rehearsed nearly every time. Yeah. Um, you'll fire one across, which lands directly on a health pack, you'll fire one or two up top. It. I mean, each demo man's got their own kind of rehearsal, whereas with Badlands, you're constantly taking different rollouts, so's the enemy, and, I mean, Granary pretty much just has two, two and a half rollouts, which, so, yeah, everything's kind of covered, and I think Rib really likes that style of TF2. Well, we're going to see, uh, of course, we do have the damage only available on Vanilla TV tonight for you, courtesy of Aerie's uh, magical work. Also, courtesy of Aerie again, we also have team comms from both the teams. Um, that would be interesting. I'm not sure and who we'll be listening to. Maybe Aerie will tell me very shortly. But yeah, uh, we can probably listen in. So it's going to be, if you have just joined us, this is Vanilla TV. Bringing you Broda versus Epsilon Esports. It's going to be Snakewater versus Granary. Granary is going to be the first map. And, uh, yep, going to be an uh, interesting game. No, neither team have dropped a map this season in e 2 f 2 Um I guess neither team have been pushed yet, Arcs. I know, I'm, I'm, I, know I saw I looked at their uh, previous results earlier, and they haven't played what I'd consider a higher division team. That's no offense to the lower division players, but, uh, sorry, lower lower premiership players even if there is such a thing they're all great players it's just the teamwork and tactics that come I into it he would jump. ah so now we can hear the comms actually is that uh hopefully that the comms you, came on there to him or no? yep but we've got epsilon comms thank you Ari. i understand how it's going to work now uh yeah. i will try and give you a shout my friend <laughs> so ox uh, come on then, let's do predictions. We haven't done, we didn't do those the other day. Maybe it was probably wise with uh, what happened in the end. But come on, <laughs> Granary. Imagine if we had predicted that. I Granny, who's your money on really before we go it. live? Who's your money on um, before we go live? You know, um, I'm. You know, I'm taking Broda. I'm taking Broda. Let's oh! let's see if they've improved. Underdogs, let's go for it. So here we go then. We are going for it. This is Vanilla TV bringing you Epsilon Esports versus Broda Season 15 Premiership Division. Powered by Blackout Gaming, we are Arx and Beta, your host. On the camera tonight is Animal, bringing you all the in eyes coverage. This is Granary, we're running you to middle with Arx. Right, okay, as uh, Rib does take the standard route into middle, just having a look where the demo man of Nomlock's coming. He's very slow up top, joining around the same speed as his T-Scouts. That's given Rib a lot of uh, pressure. And Soldier has jumped over aggressively over onto the Medic, but he's forced to go into the garage as back out on the point. Uh, Medic of Merlin is running for his life. The Scout was trying to defend him, but Epsilon just completely wiping them here. So Baseball why? didn't get the kill, but uh, wow, that's catastrophic for Broder there. Wow, Mike coming out with massive damage there straight away. Uh, that is a wipe, and he got four kills on mid-fight, over 500 damage straight away. So, <laughs> uh, great way. Wow. And look at uh, look at the Epsilon team now locking in Broder. This is going to be 1-0 very quick. Uh, 
Bibbin tries to come out as heavy. Very good heavy, in fact. He tries to shut down that soldier in the corner. Uber does get popped out on that left-hand side. But Broda still trying to come out. Probably going to surrender here. Still five players down. Only Miralin. It's going to be 1-0 the score. And that could be potentially the quickest granary round I've ever seen. Yeah, that was, what, 1 minute and 12 seconds? Which it was. I'll tell you. Uh, <laughs> I can't, I know. I don't know. We've got everything but minute. Yeah, Mike coming under just under 1k damage. Uh, coming up with uh, six yeah, kills. <laughs> yeah, so we will follow. Let's follow Mike to mid and see if he does it again. Running that, uh, I think it was escape plan. No, he's uh, he was using normal spade. But let's follow him. Coming on that left hand side. Archie, follow. Tell us where the, the uh, damage came. Soldier of Jukebox looking like he came in behind. Gets shut down again. Bash is the first loss for Epsilon. Um, bad positioning right now for Epsilon. Back in that left-hand corner. Broder needs to make the most of this. But Numlocked and the Medical Nox have come around the right-hand side. And Broder looking like they want to just give up this point. Soldier still there. Um, Nox and Numlock get taken down. Miralin and his scout now come in and take, re can take control of that point. Cookie going huge. And it's a turn of events. And that is actually a wipe for Epsilon there. Because Bash was the first death. Indeed, indeed. That was a great response from Broder there. And as Beta did call, horrible position from Epsilon. They all forced back into their corner. And from then on, Broder just controlled the chokes and just, well, kept them there. And every time a player tried to get out of that corner, he just uh, got shut down and annihilated. They came in, killed the medic, and yep, it was indeed a wipe. So now Broder with their Uber. Epsilon do not have theirs. They're just waiting for the rest of their players as they do Uber in up top, sending the scout in to lead the way. Focusing down Numlock. Numlock's actually not taking too much damage. This Uber's not going well for them, and there is a heavy on the point. This is not going to work. As only two players are alive. Soldier jumps in to try and get the medic. Doesn't manage Ooh. to do so. Only takes uh, what a third off of his health. And uh, I, I won't say it's a great hold by Epsilon, but really the push just the two scouts didn't do their work there. Maybe a little bit rushed there. Uh, maybe uh, just wanting to equal it up very quickly. Uh, just trying to think who got the front spawn. Four players got the front spawn. Jukebox is the last one. Back left who gets the, the sort of the second spawn, we call it. Um, so they're going to be defending mid. Nox already has that Uber to go. They're coming in from that right hand side. Um, heavy there as well. So heavy still being used. Um, Demo Sticky's going to try and come in and make sure the heavy comes out. Uber has been popped to protect the Demo. Numblock's gone chasing after Marilyn and Ribe um, on that right hand side. He has Sticky's all around him, so they won't be able to um, go any further. They need to be careful not to overextend here. And this is where the game will get interesting. We have two teams, both Ubers not equal, and Broda will be looking to come back in Ox. Indeed, this is the whole um, trading a capture point or an Uber. Which one do you want to have? And most teams will always go for the capture point. But in comes Medic now. Uber is forced, so that's swinging the Uber advantage in favour of Epsilon. They really, uh, sorry, Broda really need to get time on this midpoint in case Epsilon do come in. They are still rocking that heavy, so they're going to find it hard to push up against them. But uh, they're just taking mid again for an Uber exchange. Um, with, well, Epsilon 75% Uber. It looks like Broder are going to try and pressure them before they actually get that Uber, but the timing for this isn't looking too favourable as they're on 90% already. Heavy is walking close, going to be cutting off their retreat. This could be horrible for Broder now as their whole team is going to get sandwiched between a Heavy and an Uber charge. As they go, um, the Heavy has actually backed off. He was quite weak. The Uber's been popped and they're not going to actually accomplish too much with this Uber. I think they probably read Good the result. Play, yeah, this is a great result for Broder, and well, I eat my word saying that's going to end horribly. I thought, <laughs> honestly, being sandwiched between a heavy and an Uber, um, I didn't think that was going to go well, but they dealt with it great. Yeah, that was probably what uh, Broder <laughs> wanted to get away with. Following Bash, Bash is now going all the way back to spawn to switch. Oh, Marilyn does lose his Uber, though, so that was forced out. I believe that was uh, by Numlocked. Um, they will be able to capture this fourth point. Will Epsilon try and put some spam in? And they are trying to come in. Uh, good rocket spam coming in. They're now falling back left-hand side. Of course, only Mike there. Uh, two players down for Broder at the moment. Now getting those front spawns. Marilyn doing his best to jump around. Going back into that garage area. The best place for that medic to sit and build Uber. Will we see Epsilon want to come in? They're looking like they want to come in. Left-hand side with that scout of Bash. Mike there as well. Numlock joining the party as well. Um... Just wanting to see where Broder is sitting. Yeah, and they are in. They are in. So Mike's, Mike's had that Uber forced onto him. Um, st going straight after Marilyn. And Marilyn needs to be careful here. It's only the soldier protecting him. And they're still falling back. Arcs follow their point. And there's a back cap. There is a back cap going on. Um, it was the Zebeside, the soldier. He gets shut down. Marilyn's surely going to get taken care of. But no, he doesn't manage to escape. And Bibbon going huge on the point at the moment. Taking out Nox and Bash. It's if, all about Bibbon. It's going to be taken down Shocky as well. Bibbon going massive on that second point. And look at the health right now. So Gear and Mike both weak. 
But um, they hold on to that comes fourth Mike point. Behind. Just having a look, he did run in behind. Oh, he was he just realized he had enough health just to rocket jump up, but uh Rib managed to get a tiny little sticky on him, causing him to kill himself. But yeah, great play from Mib uh Mibbon, uh Ribbon. Uh Bibbon, Bibbon, Bibbon on that uh fourth point there. I, I thought actually he might have been able to push the last. He didn't have much health and one rocket would have killed him, but with all that capture time on the point, one soldier of gear was just uh, hiding in the background as the Uber comes into last. Yeah, they're coming in. Uber was popped up top as well with that demo man of right there. Scout on him at the moment. Needs probably some help from one of these uh, more damage dealers there. Um, Soldier of Sebasai, uh, uh, sorry, Jukebox goes onto the point, trying to get some time. It's only two players up for Epsilon. Scout is still now gone on to run to, and there we go. Won all the score. 23 minutes ra remaining. What a round and uh, what a start to this map. Uh, we couldn't have hoped for anything more, Rox. And let's have a look at the damage really quick. Top damage dealer. No surprise, surprise. Uh, it's Mike leading the way, but with Bibbon and Zebeside both close behind. Over 1,800 damage. The kills. It was Bibbon, of course. We're going on to round three. Ox, run us through it, mate. Indeed, it's interesting. The demo men didn't really feature in the top three. That's not very often that that happens, but well, on a map like Granny, we'll just have to see it as now. Round three is underway. Bit of pressure on Numlock down on the middle of the point. He's forced to back off and pick up that health pack. Um, just having a look at the position here. It looks like Soldier is over onto the Medic of Merlin. Mike with a great jump. Two rockets. Merlin shut down. Takes down Bibbon as well. Um, as one of the scouts comes round, Mike getting a shot Ooh, over onto Tom. But Tom is weak. Um, Mike does get shut down. And actually, Broder winning this so far shot. Wow. He is pretty much full health. He has only just respawned, though. Respawned. Um, another white, mate. Yeah, he's yeah he's not going to get in in time to uh, block it. I was just going to see. Because if he did, he'd probably in these two players alive with uh, full health versus no health. But yeah, great. Well, not response from Broda, but great play from them. It's all about the soldiers on that mid-fight right now. Uh, the demo man not featuring as heavily as they do, may do later on in Snake Water. But uh, yeah, so Nox and Marilyn both going down. But Marilyn obviously went down earlier. So uh, he will be able to build quicker. Notice how fast he is building. And Marilyn is on crits. So Marilyn is on crits, by the way. So yeah, interesting choice. Maybe wasn't certain Nox was going to go down. So he just went for it, but they are coming in that left-hand side. Numlock shuts down Rib. Uh, crits are in, crits oh! are in. Numlock ba and Bash both go down, but Merlin's caught by his geared stray rocket. <laughs> um, and Jukebox come in behind Nox, and Nox manages to get on so weak on top of the pipe. Just surfed a rocket, and they've held on to that there for uh, second point arcs. The crits look so good coming in that first rocket, destroying two players. But after that, there was just no one around. Epsilon with almost a perfect flank. They have managed to keep, uh, what was it, five of their players alive. And they are getting time on this mid. Road up, opting not to contest it. I guess they've seen the times three on the point times four and know that the rest of the team's going to be there. Um, we do have Jukebox running sniper. I'm just having a look if he's, yeah, he is sitting in the forward spawn at the moment. Uh, just waiting to get a shot. Obviously, he'll get comms from his team when people are peeking and then he'll open the door. But um, are Epsilon going to be taking a different route? Are they going to be coming in to avoid the sniper? Which they are. All of their players are actually going the garage side. So that sniper is going to have to change back to soldier, which means he's not actually going to be in the fight for another five seconds or so. So if Epsilon do decide to push immediately through the garage, which they are doing, Jukebox will only just be arriving uh, about now. And wow, it looks like Broder having to fall back out just because they don't yet have their Uber. Uber's been popped 96%. Merlin does pop it off now. Um, just chasing the players back in, and it looks like, wow, Epsilon actually going for a flank over onto last with their Medic Scouts and Demo. Uh, this has caused Broder to come all the way back there. Uh, Shockey doing some uh, work over near the point. He does get shut down, and in comes Epsilon. Great position from the player. Soldier with a height advantage. They're just cleaning the floor here, and it's a complete wipe. Broder going down, and Epsilon taking the lead in this match. That is literally a call of go around and surround, I promise you. Yeah. <laughs> Jukebox going running sniper. That meant one of their damage shooters, the soldier, was down. And, well, it paid. Uh, Zebesai is still leading the way with that round there on the, the kills, but uh, damage Mike. And uh, Numlock this time on third. So, yeah. Let's follow Ribe as he comes into the point, going up top, back of the point. Sticking straight onto his mirror, which is the other side, of course. Not going to the med pack. Where is Numlock? Where is Numlock? Slow. And Numlock takes massive damage. He's going to need mega time from Nox for those heals. He's so weak. Surely that's been called. And again, Nox gets destroyed straight away from a stray, stray pipe. And well, this is a really bad round for Epsilon at the moment. Can they pull something out of the back? Gear's so weak, he's destroyed as well. It's going to be up to Shockey and Bash who come out aside of that ramp room. And well, Bibbon and Zebesai say, thank you very much. We will eat that point up for dinner. And they are moving on to that four point straight away. I'm not sure what's up with Numlock's, roll Numlock's uh, rollout at the moment because every round, apart from the first round, um, Rip has arrived a good... 
five or six seconds before him, and they're, they're both going the same route, uh, both going up top, but Ribs can get three stickies out before Nomlox even arrives there, and I, at first I thought, oh, okay, Nomlox waiting for the overheal as well. Merlin goes down. Who was that? Was that Shocky jumping in? Yeah. I think Shocky just uh, ran in and took down Merlin, and Epson now pushing into their fourth after uh, Broder did take that fourth on the push. Uh, yeah, it's that was weird. Yeah, that was actually uh, a drop, by the way. That was a Maryland drop. So, <laughs> he had it. He literally got it as he died. And, uh, well, uh, thanks to, no doubt, Ares' uh, m amazing damage thing, it's uh, we can see that he had it and he dropped it. So, there we go. Nice. No, but, um, yeah, it's, it's an interesting position for them to be in at the moment because Epsilon do have their Uber. Um, they haven't yet pushed out. They're still sitting over on their uh, second point at the moment. They will be pushing forward. Um, now, obviously, they have that Uber advantage. They know they killed the Medic. Um, as one scout did lead the way going, he absorbed a few rockets, but Broder just going to be running out from this, not forcing out their Uber. Um, it's a free point for Epsilon, and they know it, and they're going to continue to push in. Numlock, uh just getting aggressive with his Medic. He knows that they're going to have that Uber, uh, Uber charge for defense. Uh, Broder do have their Uber as well, so they'll obviously be he able to stay out so in this quick. Lock. Yeah, he built it he so did, quick yeah. as well. I'm surprised. Yeah, he's not running crits. So I was just making sure. He built it so quick. Uh, what we could do is uh, we could listen how uh, Epsilon want to push in here. Let's go to the Epsilon comms. Eri, do your work. They're in there. Push back. They're here. Push back on them now. Go, 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 go. Scout points. Scout points. Scout points. Scout points. Kill him. Nice. Magic 100. Nice. Watch out. Stay here. Stay here. Defend a little bit. Behind somewhere. So he's behind. So he's behind here. Okay. Going, going, going. Hey, okay. we're not pushing too hard. They're behind. Push your right. Push your right. Slowly. Push your okay. right. Yeah, you're also behind you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm checking. I'm checking. Corner, corner. Wide right corner. Slowly. Took a fight. Oh, nice, nice guys. Nice. There we go. <laughs> Thank you <laughs> for those cons, Airy. So Epsilon, uh, in the end, actually didn't really need to do anything. Uh, Marilyn went down uh, as Broder trying to push back, but it didn't work for them, and they've got that fourth CP. They're going to be pushing on to last very quickly. Uh, see if Jukebox will opt to run Sniper, but it's not going to be any good. Epsilon already in on that right-hand side of the point. Scout on point. Someone needs to get there and block, and no, they don't. And in the end, Shocky just literally run to the point, and it's 3-1 the score. 16 minutes remaining, and well... Uh, <laughs> It's going to be an interesting last few rounds. Let's have a look at that damage very quickly. Zebesai and Mike, uh, sorry, start again. Mike uh, doing most of the damage again. Uh, Zebesai and Bibbon actually there as well, but uh, yeah, uh, didn't work for them. So this is going to be round five. Arcs, take us through it. Right, so on the midpoint again, Rib arriving miles before Numlock. Numlock not taking any damage this time. Mike getting a full overheal before he jumps. Medic actually paid special attention to him just to make sure that he could jump, but. Well, the jump wasn't too effective now as he does get shot around near the health pack. Um, just have a look at the scouts on the point, however. Bibbon. Uh, Epsilon Bibbon. is face down at the moment. And yes, again, Bibbon and Jukebox combo. Wow, Nox actually takes down Jukebox uh, with the needles. And the medic has survived. Jumping soldier in. Zeboso juggles him once. Demo man's also coming in. He's surely going to get the soldier. Medic's forced to take a very scenic route. And uh, Scout cleans him up. And that is pretty much a complete wipe if we discount the gear just spawned. As uh, Broda already capped that fourth, this is going to be one of the the quickest rounds in we've ever seen. Yeah, <laughs> another quick round coming out. Uber is popped to make sure they can get those uh, spawners down. Gear does get taken down. 3-2 to score, and yeah, what a, uh, a sort of middle point from Bibbon there. Honestly, I saw most of that in eyes. Got the jumping soldier of Gear, then just went after the Numlock, got the scout who was on Marilyn, and yeah, uh, just waiting for my damage to update. But yeah, the next round coming up. 3-2 to score. I am following Numlock. He's going that right-hand side through that ramp room area. S looks to me quite slow again. Right side this time, not up top. And he's coming down on below Rive, actually. Uh, Rive does take a couple of stickies. Nothing there. Shocky very weak at the moment. He's actually below and behind Broda. Bibson, Bibbon gets taken down. Mike comes in to help out as well. So it's three players down for Broda and quick succession. Jukebox and Mirren so weak as well. Um, the stickies are coming in from Numlock. They still need to keep on falling back here. I don't think they're going to be able to hold that yard. And no, they're not, Arcs. That demo man play, sending the demo man along the right side and forward aggressive, that shouldn't have worked. I mean, he all of the Broda players were above him. And while a demo man is, they don't really uh, lose when they're below players. If anything, they are just as strong. But he should have been focused down immediately. But the amount of damage that he managed to deal on the team as he pushed in was just unbelievable. Now, the saving grace is that his Uber has been Uber. popped um, over on the uh, fourth capture point, which means Broda 
it's going to be an equal uber advantage. They are two players down though, so Epsilon hoping to go in off of this, uh, just see what they can do. They might not be committing to it yet. Gear has gone down and they are still back near the door, so they can fall back. But with uh, four players down, they are going to be going forward. Oof. Medic does get taken down. Jukebox, the only one alive. Two scouts, Medic and Soldier, it's not going to happen. And the score is 4-2 to Epsilon, 13 minutes, 46 seconds remaining. Yeah, so you have just joined us. This is Vanilla TV bringing you Broda versus Epsilon Esports Season 15 Premiership Division sponsored by Blackout Gaming. We are Arch and Vita, your host tonight. Animal doing the camera work for you. And this is the first map, Granary 4-2 the score in favour of Epsilon. As you can see, let's follow uh, Cookie this time as he comes onto the point. Lower right hand side past those blue crates. Uh, trying to go Love straight after Nox coming back onto the big med pack below most of the uh, team at the moment. Does get a nice couple of good shots onto uh, one of the scouts. I believe it's shocking, but falls back for those heals. Gear at the moment very weak as well. It's going to need loads of attention, but Brody have lost three players, including both the soldiers and um, Rive. They're looking like Epsilon's going to hold this point, and yeah, as you imagine, Brody have fallen back to that yard all the way back to their second point, in fact. It was interesting that they completely controlled Broda without the use of their demo man. Literally, Numlock took the same route that he had success with last time. As the two scouts pop the Uber directly into them, they're trying to hold this point. They don't want to be back on their last. Counter Uber has been popped. Mike uh, with Nox there. Two scouts just behind them um, popped that Uber and... Well, yeah, I guess they didn't want to be stuck in that position. As Mike goes forward, he might have overextended a little bit. Scouts coming in. Does manage to take him down there, scouts. All on the point. So both sides also jumped in. They're going to retake this point back as Nox and Mike Watch the are surely going to have to pull back. Um, yeah, okay, nope. one player did get the spawn. It was, uh, did he? No, actually, I'm not no. sure. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Numlock, Numlock did get the spawn. Um, he is falling back with the rest of his team. Um, so, yeah, it, it does look like though Broda are going to at least get a lot of time on this mid. Whether or not Numlock do, Numlock to Epsilon do come in and try and contest this will remain to be seen. But as it stands at the moment, yeah, they are. They, no, they're not. They're not. No, no, no. I think they want to try and come back in left-hand side. Now they're falling back into that, uh, courtyard area just want to wait it out Maryland does have a slight uber percent advantage not sure if they will know that um, and they are coming oh it's forced so early it's been forced so early on that left hand side so Epsilon will just fall back now and then walk back in with the uber in any second poor result there for Broder that's not what they want and as you can see they're falling out of that right hand side yard seven sides caught he went out to go and get it out of him he has but, yeah, they've lost two players of that as well. They need to be careful here. Uh, Jukebox gets taken down as well. Surely Epsilon going to come in. It's going to be six versus three on this third point. Surely coming in. And, yeah, Broda all the way back out in the uh, ramp room area. Um, just following Mike, who's actually got free roam. And Scout now onto that third CP as well. They do have a very slight uber advantage, and I think they don't want to give up this mid. I mean, 11 minutes remaining, but it's just great play again from Mike jumping Oof. up top. Wow, Numlock gets caught. Ouch. The, uh, the pill's hitting him in the face. As uh, I was going to say, Mike did a great jump up top just to uh, prevent them from coming in as Numlock was spamming. But with that demo man down, Broder might fancy Jukebox. their chances pushing in here. Uh, gear does get caught, and... Well, we are going to have a time seven sitting on the midpoint at the moment. I don't think uh, Epson could afford to send a player to suicide and... Uh, Try and force that Uber Just out. Just watching so. Mike. Look where Mike is sitting very close right hand side of the crate, of the red crate. Want to force it out of them again early. Um, and in fact, it's oh. not worked. Epsilon Uber um, comes out to play. Um, Broda haven't used this. I wonder if they saw it. Someone surely must have called that. And it does. So a counter Uber now coming in. Shockey's caught. Um, where are the Epsilon players? They've gone all the way back outside of their sec uh, second CP. A lot of the Broda players very weak at the moment, though. That must have been some stickies that caught them. They will capture that fourth oh, CP. Sticky and trap. And Numlock catches Zebesai as well. So they will not get those front spawns, which they so desperately need. Now coming over to that 10 minute warning. So 10 minutes left of this first map, and we could be looking at a very fast end at this rate. The final third of this first map. It very well could be um, Epsilon holding a good 30% Uber advantage. Scout and Demo Man over on this midpoint at the moment. Just have a look. If Broda fancy their chances coming in, they do not look like they're even going to attempt that. They are sitting out in their yard for the time being. Um, Epsilon do have their Uber, so once they've capped this mid, we can expect them to push pretty quickly. I'm wondering if Nox has read the, well, the situation, which I'm sure he has. But, um, I mean, the difference wasn't actually that great between the two Ubers, so it's they're probably expecting Broda to have their Uber now, which they do. And uh, in comes that Uber again. Aggressive scout play. Counter Uber is pop, blocking them at the door. I'm not sure who this is going to go worse for. Scout and soldier versus uh, scout and medic. But out comes Mike behind the medic. He hasn't even been spotted. This is going to be disastrous. As Merlin juggled once. Soldier of Zebo side does manage to take down Mike. Scout of Shock. He's also taken down from a flank from Jukebox. And uh, well, only their medic down. The rest of their team are alive. 
most of them on good health, so they're probably going to be able to take this mid fight back, but Epsilon are going to have a strong uber advantage. Yeah, uh, this is their time now, really. 4-2 the score. We'll be quite happy to sit in that yard area. Defending far forward, just uh, Sticky's on the right-hand side of that uh, ramp room entrance. I can hear I can hear they're still building as well, so uh, using that Boston Basher, I haven't really mentioned that tonight yet, but usually used by a lot of the top teams now to build quickly. Um, Broda, nothing being run out of the ordinary. Just a bit of a slow, slow team, slow, sorry, slow stage of this first map. And bro, uh, hold that fort. So Epsilon are in, and Nox, new box comes straight onto wow. Nox. Oh my gosh, I don't know how how that happened. He just jumped perfectly in synchronized jumping onto him. Nox gets destroyed. Now Broda will be, do a good job of trying to hold on to this, but Merlin's so weak, and Merlin's had to fall out. And in, in fact, I can't even find him. That's where he's gone. And he rejoins with his right hand side. Still, finally gets a med pack now. And yeah, very uh, very lucky for Merlin to go down, and very lucky for Knox to get caught straight away. Could we see another round on the board coming for Broda? We will know in the next few seconds. Numlock sitting up top. He is caught by Bibbon and Co. So there's Rive Stickies there. And back cap, almost back cap. There's a scout there. Bash gets destroyed. So there's two players down for Epsilon. They, they want to go in now. Uber is popped. Um, it looks like again, Zebra's eyes straight onto Nox, who gets destroyed. Oh. Mike, Mike being pinned back into the right hand side as well. Three players down for Epsilon. And there we go. So it's oh. going to be another round for Broda. Uh, yeah, so going to have a final seven minutes at 4 3 to score in favour of Epsilon. Let's see. What Should we a... see what the uh, Broda comms are like, Arcs? Quick. Indeed, indeed. Let's do it for the rollout. I'll come top now. Okay. Wait, which are we going top? Uh, yeah, go top with Gus and then drop on yeah. the demo if he goes left. Yeah, okay. Are you top as well then? Got top. Okay, jump them, jump them. Demo took 70 from me, left jumping. One scout on the right side. Demo down. on me. Gus down. down. I'm down. Oops. Scout. Scout down. Why? Um, they make fun time as well though. Thank you, Airy. So there was Brodicons on that rollout, and that was a wipe. And that's the first time we've actually seen a full six-man wipe. Nice and calm, collected wipe. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> the, no raging. The, in no, the no interesting raging. thing there was uh, Jukebox did a hero jump um, across to them, and it was really effective, actually. He managed to uh, take down Numlock. The problem is, is that the route that they took just allowed the Epsilon scouts to literally walk across the point and kill everything. Um, they, they kind of left themselves a bit exposed with their two soldiers jumping and I, I think you'll feel that was their, uh, their downside. However, there is still six minutes, uh, ten seconds remaining. Epsilon do have a slight uber advantage and actually, I'm um, just having a look that that is uber. Yeah, okay, it is uber from Merlin. I was just checking because that was building quite quickly. So both teams probably going to have an uber on this unless uh, Epsilon pushing directly on the mark, which is what they're doing. 85%, 90% for Merlin. Is he going to keep it? He's in a forward position at the moment. Chris. Chris. Wow, Chris comes in. Takes down Merlin with a sticky up top. Epsilon wiping the floor with them here. They've still got that heavy to deal with. Who is sitting on full health. One scout over on the point. Actually, do they have the damage to just take down with this heavy? I don't know if they do. Gear does take, get, take it down. One soldier on the point. Soldier versus Demo Man. This is going to be all or nothing. One soldier. Mike needs to get dealt with. Rip versus Mike. Can Rip prevail in this fight? We are not sure. We'll have to see Mike if he gets any more time on the point. Mike might have just wanted for the soldier. That's coming. Oh, the rocket not making it in time. Mike does cap it. Or at least Mike's body caps it. And that could be the nail in the coffin for Epsilon. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Man, that, I don't think it gets much closer than that. That must have been... Uh, I don't know. It must have been his body. <laughs> uh, let's have a look at the damage. Numlock leading the way and Bash uh, and Cookie getting most of the kills. But yeah, we could be looking at another fast round. Let's just see what happens here. So Broda actually getting it uncontested. And ah, uh, boo! Epsilon don't even contest it. 5-3 to score. 5 minutes left. This is just welcoming Broda to come and have a go at them. No, I th the thing is they had one of their soldiers who's only just walked out the spawn. Um, I, I believe it might be Mike. Uh, yeah, it is Mike. He, wa he wasn't there for the mid-fight, so i um, not sure for what reason. Maybe <laughs> it was a bit weird, but um, I think way, they gave a middle as in recognition of uh, basically no. that was a, a lame, <laughs> lame point to capture. Uh, nice. Maybe, maybe. Oh, look, we'll... Rejoin the action. Both Ubers are used in that courtyard area. Um, Mike, I think that is Mike outside who does get caught, and Numlock's caught as well, so actually, you know, uh, they might be able to hold it, but oh, Gear and Bash 
Shocky just taking down three of the Broder players, and it's two scouts onto Marilyn up front and close and personal, and they get, they destroy him. But Bibbon coming back as well, saying, you know what, you can't take Marilyn just like that, and that is a wipe for Broder. So, yeah, Epsilon will be taking that midpoint back. <laughs> Yeah, Shocky with a pistol kills. Uh, they didn't have much health. It wasn't a quad pistol. Quad pistol is what uh, takes down players from full health to none in six bullets. But, uh, well, yeah, they're not going to be able to take it back at the moment. They just had the Scout and Demo Man. The rest of their team are just now arriving. Um, obviously, Broda having those forward spawns. There is still three minutes, 30 seconds remaining, but they need two rounds. So we're going to expect Broda to make a push. Um, it looks like Epsilon are still running the regular Uber Charge. Merlin is on also regular Uber Charge. Um, Nomlock just doing a great job pressuring them back here. Uh, Shocky takes down their both side, but Nomlock is caught by the two scouts jumping in. Uh, looks like, oh, Mike's also caught now. Um, now Epsilon do have their Uber. It is forced as uh, a couple of the players do go down. It's a three against three situation as Epsilon moving into middle. Scout is chasing the Demo Man and Medic. Uh, just getting a little bit of time on the point and uh, forcing them back. But where is uh, Jukebox? He is over on the fourth capture point Someone at needs the to moment. Go block. But the respawn is coming in. Uh, Gear is actually there with the Medic. So... Uh, Epsilon not going to be taking this mid fight back and, well, Gear's probably going to get annihilated. Sorry, Jukebox even. Yeah, Broder now with that Uber. What he has done though, he's uh, brought them back. Uh, Numlock's the only one sitting outside in that courtyard area. They need to be careful not to get caught on the left hand side and Zebside gets caught. Just as I was oh, saying, no. now Scout onto Merlin as well, gets it out of them, so be hard to push into the second point, but they won't give it up. Scout comes through to the Z and gets on time on point, but there's a Scout of um, a scout of Bash sitting They've behind. He does get destroyed by Bibbon. They do get their that's oh, uh, Uber, fourth Uber. CP relatively for free. Three players up. Sorry, two players oh, up for Epsilon. Wow. Only one player up for Epsilon. What? It's only going to be Mike. That was a drop. Um, no, 99% apparently according to Nox on the uh, chat. And yeah, there we go. Five for the score. Wow. And yeah, this is all doable still for Broder. It is indeed uh, two minutes left. I mean, we've had two rounds at this time already in uh, this game so far. Great play. He was nearly on Uber. I thought that Uber was going to be the saving grace. Epsilon were going to hold on to that push, uh, buy a little more time for another Uber to come in, and that would pretty much be good game. But Broder coming back into this match. Um, let's have a look what Epsilon do this time. Oh, they're up. They are coming into mid as the Demo Men do arrive. But uh, Numlock shut down immediately. Rib and Tompa Ooh, getting Epsilon the kills over onto him. Uh, Gears are also a bit overextended. He is going to be able to go in for a jump over onto the Medic. Uh, Soldier misses the airshot. And a great job from Gear there. Merlin oh. juggled in the air, but just manages to survive. There's two players, Numlocked and Gear, are down for Epsilon at the moment. Uh, they are basically backed off onto their point. There's 1 minute 20 seconds remaining. Uh, lots of time is coming out on this midpoint. Can they do it? They've still got enough time to do this. The Ubers are going to come into place. So that's another 10 seconds, which is... Uh, well, basically 10 seconds of non-existent time that they've got, but they need to go in quickly. Soldier's overextended a bit here. Uber is forced. Counter Uber is also popped now. Soldier jumping out, just trying to deny the medic entry here. It looks like uh, Rib did push forward for a second. It, they, they're going to get this as well. They're going to get this point. Two scouts looking like they want to come in. Uh, Soldier's also jumping in from up top, actually. They've got the cap, the time on the capture point, but Epson are coming in with force and are forcing them straight back out again. Yeah, 45 seconds left. It's not all over yet for Broder. Uh, oh, they just lost a point. They could have done with those front spawns. Three players down at the moment. They do need those front spawns if they want to have any chance. 30 seconds left. Great play by Epsilon just coming, spamming that point, making sure no time will go on there at all. Uber and advantage though, look at, that might be crucial at the moment because there is a good 10, 12% Uber oh. advantage. Um, if they've got the time, 22 seconds remaining, they need the rest of their players to arrive now. They might just have this Uber. 18 seconds, they need more time on the point. They need more time on the point before they can push through. There's still 30 seconds remaining. Soldiers, who's going to wait and capture the point because they need someone on the last 10 seconds remaining? Epsilon are going to get their Uber in time. It's not going to happen for Broder, but can't give them anything but credit for the effort that they put in and it is GG 5-4 the score to Epsilon uh, couldn't have hoped for more yeah great first map of this uh, match tonight and just looking at the damage just as we come to the end uh, we'll talk about that in just a second but this has been the first map for Vanilla TV bringing you Epsilon versus Broder season 15 premiership Division powered by Blackout Gaming. Uh, five fold the score in favour of Epsilon. Snake Water coming up to so stay.